Ladies and gentlemen, let's read game to the com video. Let us discuss Windows 9, shall we? We have a slew of information regarding it, and since Windows 9 is probably going to be pretty crucial to you, whether you're a gamer, whether you're using, say, a low-powered uh, laptop, whether it's going to be for tablets, phones, and so on, chances are at some point or another you're going to want to make the switch. And we have a lot of information for Windows 9, including possible information regarding Cortana integration. But we'll go into that in just a moment. I guess the most pertinent thing to start with would be the release date. Now, initially, the rumors were that you're going to be able to buy it at some point in April. It was going to be shipping with pieces at some point in April. We weren't sure about actual boxed copies. However... There has been a leaked document which was obtained by MYCA, uh, MICE, I guess you could call it. And in that, it said the preview version is scheduled for release between Q2 and Q3, which means, well, the official launch date is looking a little bit dicey to say the least. And when you consider the Q2 slash Q3, and once again, we're just just to reiterate, talking about 2015 here, of course, um, that's a long period of time. Theoretically, this could mean that 2015 Christmas is what we're going to be seeing it, which would be a bit of a shame if I'm totally honest. Now, there is a report going about that says there's going to be no charms bar, and this report is actually by Win Beta. So, what is the charms bar, just in case you're unfamiliar with it, and if you're not using Windows uh, 8, then it's possible that you're not familiar with it. It's the bar that pops up on the right-hand side of the screen, so it's going to have things such as, say, search, share, and settings. You know what the bar I'm talking about. It can be a little bit irritating, to say the least. And one of the theories... Um, one of the comments are going about on Win Beta says one method we heard about the standout is having a button up near the window controls that once pressed would reveal the search, share, blah, blah, blah buttons. But there's no need for a start button for the desktop users in Charms. And that's one idea. And another one that Microsoft are playing with is just completely nuking it. But they're not really sure if that's going to work and they're not really sure of the methodology yet. So... Good news, everyone. The start menu is coming back. Um, there is a Windows update coming about, and that's known as Threshold, and that's also going to be part of Windows 9. Windows 9 um, is going to, as we mentioned, be released in about a year's time. So, obviously, some of this stuff is, well, in the beta phase. But the start menu is going to be changing quite significantly and it's going to be very different to what maybe you're used to, particularly if you used to say the Metro 8, uh, UI in Windows 8. There are strong rumours which state that the extended, expanded start menu will appear within a more desktop start screen and the desktops for PC and laptop users, but for the same expanded start menu may take over the entire screen screen for tablets and smaller touchscreen devices but the start menu as a whole does look a lot more Windows 7 esque I guess you could say but it does definitely have some Metro UI elements um, including mail and it's got things such as weather built in so it's gonna look a little different to say the least compared to what you're maybe used to so it's almost I guess you could say it's gonna be kind of like Metro uh, Metro UI combined and start I'm unsure how I'm gonna like that but then I absolutely bloody hated the start menu on Windows 8 it's absolutely atrocious in my personal opinion and significantly worse may I add for a server if you're unlucky enough to be using Windows Server um, with the Metro UI, you have my sympathies, because I have. <laughs> and I really am not too much of a fan. It doesn't really bode well for server administration. I don't really know why Microsoft did that, but there you have it. Okay, so what about some of the features? Well, unsurprising thing, it's going to be 64-bit only. Um, at least that's the theory and the rumours going about. Microsoft ideally do want to be doing away with the 32-bit. There's massive limitations uh, associated with it, including um, lack of memory. But at the end of the day, it's a good way for OEMs to get cheap deals. 
um, for processors. And OEMs then can go for cheaper licenses. It's unknown what's going to happen. I personally wouldn't be surprised if we're going to be getting only a 64-bit version. And I hope, to be honest, we get away with only a 64-bit version. The faster we can move away from the decaying rack that is 32-bit, the better in my personal opinion. Another thing Microsoft has to do is actually allow Windows Phone and Windows RT apps to run on both phone and Windows. Apparently, even Xbox apps should become cross-compatible. So you actually be able to pin Metro apps to the taskbar and it, theoretically, you're going to be able to use Kinect-based 3D gestures for laptops with, well, 3D cameras. That's if this all goes ahead. So in theory, you should be able to basically control your computer with gestures. Once again, how well that works and how sensitive it would work obviously would depend on A, hardware, and B, just how well Microsoft's integration is. So while it's possibly not the most exciting of features to mention, power management. Personally, it, as a desktop user, doesn't really make me excited sexually, but it, I suppose for some users, particularly for those who are relying on battery life, so mobile users effectively, or uh, laptop users, particularly if you're, say, traveling, apparently Windows 9 is going to be a lot kinder on the battery. It's going to have a lot more aggressive power management capabilities, which hopefully should go more Mac-like. That's one good thing I will say about the Macintosh. Um, I can't really say much about the Macintosh that I like after being forced to use it this week at work, but there you have it. Um, so, I did tease you earlier about the whole Cortana thing. Now, we do know that Google um, are going to be, um, as well as uh, Apple, are trying to patent a Siri-like services on OS, and Microsoft aren't really willing to just be like, okay, that's fine. Now, Google are offering this, offers Google Now on the PC, so... Microsoft don't want to just be leaving them um, to just do their own thing and then try and play catch up. That's the worst thing they can do. So what we know, what what's the rumor anyway, is that Cortana's progress in the threshold development state and it actually claims Cortana is actually going to be fully integrated in the operating system, which once again is going to launch some point next year. Apparently, Cortana is a simple app and uh, once again apparently threshold users manually have to open this application but once it's launched it doesn't encompass all full screen as say Windows 8.1 instead it takes up about a quarter of the screen and will basically reside in the middle for what that's worth now the basic one theory is that Cortana which at the end of the day it's an assistant one theory is that it's going to be a almost replacement for the charms bar. I don't really necessarily know if I like that, but I guess we're going to have to see how what happens when we see a customer preview build. Uh, once again, the preview builds are going to be, well, whenever the hell. Some rumors are actually putting the customer preview builds in uh, the fourth quarter of this year, 2014. But once again, there are some who are expecting it to be a lot slower than that and for it to be next year. So, it's all up in the air right now, to be totally honest with you. But here's the final rumour that I'm going to give you as a roundup. There are some who are saying that Microsoft are talking about giving Windows 9 away for free. If you are a Windows XP, Windows Vista or Windows 7 customer, you're going to get it for free. No mention about Windows 8, which is really weird considering there's people who basically were attacking Microsoft with pitchforks with Windows 8, but it's really weird about Windows XP. They probably just want to get people away from the decaying wreck that is that OS, to be honest, because it has so many security flaws right now. And we all know that businesses are actually kind of struggling. It's actually amazing the amount 
or even large companies that are still on Windows XP. And we're not just talking like that are in different countries like India or China. We know China has a very large install base of Windows XP. Even in the United Kingdom, I don't know about the US, but I'm assuming it would be very similar. They have a lot of Windows XP. And most of the reason behind this, to be honest, is legacy. Basically speaking, it A, costs them a lot of money for the licenses. B, their hardware might not even be able to soldier, the win uh, say, Windows 7 or 8. And the next one is their ap actual applications. They may not be 100% compatible, particularly when you're dealing with really legacy-based OSs um, and databases and applications. So there could be a little bit of a problem there. But maybe the lure of a free upgrade might entice people. I, if I was a Windows Vista user, I'd be considerably more tempted. But as a gamer, I guess it would depend as well. Uh, it's really curious that they're not mentioning Windows 8 in there. I mean, I'd be actually kind of pissed off if, well, I am a Windows 8 user, but I'd be, I was basically expecting to buy it anyway. But I'd be really pissed off if it was for Windows 7 and below and Windows 8 had to pay for it. Maybe that's just like implied that you're going to get it Windows 8. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I've been a little bit rambly today. I can only apologize. I'm absolutely shattered. I have been up since... I don't even know what time I was up. 5.20 in the morning, and it is now 8-something at night. And I still need to edit and stuff. Unfortunately, I was up really early, as I had to trek all the way into London for a bit of contracting. So it's like, ugh, IR zombie. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, or not, whatever way. I'll uh, see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.